My name is Ursula Endlicher. I'm an artist. I work with electronic media. I work with um, mostly like internet-based technology, but not only. I work with real-time data, but I also build sculptures and do performances and installations and internet art. And usually it's a combination of all of those items together. When I talked to uh, uh, Carol in the beginnings, I was very excited. Oh my God, Governor's Island, it's so beautiful here. And so as a matter of fact, I do a lot of outdoor pieces these days. And um, first I was thinking of bringing actually an outdoor installation onto the island, but it would have been way more complex to do, long approval, etc. So, so just as a side comment, which might help um, this outdoor piece that I'm actually having right now, also uh, upstate New York, is actually, it's called Input Field Form Number 2. And it's actually a, a web-based uh, form. You know, the forms that you have to fill out, like you have to put in your data, name and email address, etc. So this kind of like complex uh, data form was put into uh, the ground and plants are growing. So based on whatever the input field question and functionality was, uh, the, the corresponding plants were planted. So this is a piece I have upstate right now. But why I'm saying this is I did this piece also um, a year ago in Sweden, and I also planted next to the so-called real plants, also an electronic plant. So what was happening in that outdoor field not only were the plants, of course, reacting to, to the, all the environmental uh, changes, also this electronic plant was changing based on whatever was happening in nature. So the idea was, well, if I cannot put an input field right here, a big uh, outdoor installation, I bring the electronic plant. And the next step was, well, because Governor's Island also like outdoor, indoor, Right? Let's think about something that could be in both places. And what does it mean to have, have peace in both places? And that's how this kind of companion plant installation came up as an idea. You look through something I call like a fluoroscope. So it's like you look basically inside the plant, what's happening in there. And you see basically the plant changes its mood, it changes its mood because of the light mostly, because the more light, the happier it gets. It also reacts to movement, it reacts to um, air pressure, it, it, react, it uh, reacts to um, temperature, all affects like how the animations and how the videos are kind of presented. So it's like really a, a data uh, performance, right? So it's like whatever the real-time data is, changes what you see inside of the plant. Whatever embedded logic is there, I want to I wanna use this. What you usually don't see, even like programming languages or even like how uh, uh, technology functions. This is an inspiration to me, actually, the, the embedded functionality and I, I make that visible. So doing this kind of work, there's kind of a parallel, making kind of kind of embedded functionality visible. You can do the same thing with nature, right? So overlapping those two perspectives, actually something else comes out, something, some kind of metamorphosis happen. You balance technology and nature, you intersect those ideas, something else comes out.